cam just for you. <laughs> and some boobs, thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that you were able to join us. I, I know it uh, might be a little bit late for you there, too, uh, Taro. <laughs> Grade A lead unlocked. Hell yeah. Someone really didn't want us finding funding this uh, Tesco woman. Tedesco, sorry. Tedesco. <laughs> we must be getting close, right? We're definitely getting close to something. What do you think, Brian? Well, uh, Tedesco did say she was going to Moscow, didn't she? True. How about you, kid? Probably unrelated, but she might be going on business. I understand your reluctance, but I doubt it. The stars have aligned here. One thing, though. This is looking too big to be the work of some pissant group. It's bigger. It's getting bigger. It's... <laughs> the avatar is so cute. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> it's almost three in the morning here. Holy crap. Darrow, get some rest. Uh, just, just, uh, just, just vibe out until you just fall asleep. How about that? <laughs> you need to get some rest, though, buddy. Gotta get ready for the next day. But I always appreciate you dropping by. You're always lovely to have around. Yo, Oscar Contreras has hyper-liked me. Let's see our dates. Live the life you love, love the life you live. This guy, Oscar, has hyper liked me. <gasps> yeah, let's let's let's, let's like him back. There you go. Boom. Uh, I like to cover you in peanut butter and see how much I can lick off before my peanut allergy killed me. Um, I'm not medically trained to deal with that, so. <laughs> gonna say you got a nice face but uh you also seem like you have a death wish so pass i just want to make out cuddle in baggy clothes while watching movies we got some under eye stuff going on but um do some we could do some like make out and cuddle in baggy clothing that seems like my kind of vibe let's go i'll give you a like if you're waiting for the opportune moment to talk to me now is it Ooh, I don't want to judge based on his face. Don't you turn on those careless whispers, Crash? Don't you make me do it? He's gonna make me do it. I cannot believe this. You're gonna, you're gonna make me like this man who is like eighty percent ears. His look at his neck. His head is ridiculously small. Oh god damn it! Okay, fine. I'm liking him. There we go. Love is in the air. There we go. I'll take his weird small head. Head out on a date. Oh, God. This man has a PhD in snuggleology. Yes. I've always wanted to date a doctor. <laughs> I'm no good with bios. You do have a nice face, though. Liked. You're all done. Let's see our like backs. I've accepted the ultra like. Hell yeah. Look at that. So many winners. We got a lot of winners. Victor rejected me. Jordan rejected me. Oh, thank God. Jordan, the man with the tiny head, has rejected me. Andrew Mark has rejected me. Trident Von Locke has rejected I, I was rejected by literally everyone except the person who contacted me first. That's a big oof. Like, I'm glad... Okay, thank you. Thank you for celebrating my... I'm just... Okay. Yeah. I'm just... Okay. Yeah, that's... uh. Are we celebrate are we celebrating how much people don't like me on this dating website because they don't <laughs> <laughs> My homie Ace the Bat sent me. Yo, welcome in Pro Wendy. We 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 love uh we love Ace the Bat here. <laughs> you are always welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. We've just been Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Have oh. to go now. So sorry. <laughs> but you are the cutest deer I know. The cutest deer that you know? I mean, that that's pretty high praise. That's pretty high praise, Taro. Thank you so much for the biddies. I really appreciate it. <laughs> you go get some rest, though. You need you need to, you need to your energy for the next day. <laughs> oh my goodness! Thank you for dropping by. You are always always welcome here. We'd love to see you around. Let's see what happens with this uh, with this Oscar guy, shall we? A wiener warrior. I mean, I, I could be. I could be, possibly. Let's tell data. 
<laughs> good night, Taro. Have a good one. I want to research uh, Oscar Contreras. I want to see what my, my hyper-like person, what they're all about. Uh, we're going in. We're, we're, going, we're connecting. Connect me in. There we go. We are looking for A. Saxon, B. McCall, O. Gundier, or attachment set between 1046 and 1113. This is like oddly specific. Oh, we're looking at the, our CEO again. Check this out. <laughs> Close the deal. As far as I'm concerned, Investiga can do what they like with the data. will be theirs. Pass this along to them and get a better idea of what they're buying. So this was sent... Not during the time frame that we're looking at, though. By the way, just raid you with one person because I don't actually know how to raid, so I pretend it's a raid. You know what, Ace? Thank you for uh, thank you for popping on in. We love to see it. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Celebrate drips refusals. I mean, at least I did. I got refused by that like large-headed person. Uh, Sudir Kamar. This was sent at eleven eleven, which is during our time frame. I will grab that. Thank you very much. Get rid of those. Uh, was cheated on by M. Khalil. Hmm. We're also looking for uh, Ogundir, B. McCall, and A. Saxon. Ogundir. Yeah. Oh, gosh, the boobs. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, whoops. I uh, did not mean to grab that. Everybody's name looks the same over here. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, a, a, a Saxon. Uh, are you uh, a, a, a Saxon? Any a, a Saxons out there? We don't need that one. We don't need that one. I McCall and A McCall. We're looking for B McCall though. They don't use users agreed to this, but does anyone actually read the users agreement? Does it matter? You get data on how many linked apps? Four thousand to begin with. Many more to come. Maxwell this is feeling to, beginning to feel like a beautiful friendship. My mine Kirby Zip. Example of my generosity. Hmm. What time was this sent? No, too late. Okay, cool. Oh, whoa, there's another uh, text message over here. What's this? A gift from me to you. Hmm. His brother and he hates me. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that, that that tracks. And that understands why you would be uh, a little bit a little bit peeved. D lie. Okay, well, none of those work. I think we can call the federal government isn't doing enough to protect your information. Shocked to hear about the recent leaks at Microstep. No one's more committed to privacy than us. Yeah, that seems like, uh, seems like it's false. <laughs> at a court, New York Met Gala, Patricia Neal, A. Saxon. Boom, there we go. All right, let's, uh, let's get our Dennis Zuck as his, uh, relationship is a little bit low. Let's sell him a little bit of money, shall we? Now he's back to being happy with us. So only watermelon connection, so we had it coming? That makes a lot of sense. So we just like search the hell out of that guy. Now let's go look at our uh, look at our date. Oscar mm -hmm. Contreras. So he's been purchasing the sunset given by JP Choi. Ooh, he wants to chat. Hello. Uh, I can never get those hard plastic cases open. Is anyone going to Copa Bash this weekend? My friend needs someone to carpool with. If you would be loved, love, and be lovable. Okay, usually grumpy, prefers to wear red, rarely washes jeans, birthmark on back. Kitchen worker in DC. Uh, climbing harness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, three donuts, tax consulting appointment, and The Morning Taketh by J.P. Choi. Two books by J.P. Choi. I was just moving from computer to bed with the new sheets. Oh, new sheets are amazing. I love those. Uh, let's, uh, let's chat with him a little bit. Hey, hey, what's up? Hello? Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can work this in a little bit. Hey, smiley face. Just, just hit him with the smiley face. They, they, they love the smiley face. How are you doing? Hmm. You say he pressed his, pressed his off button very hard. <laughs> We're running out of time on this thing, by the way. So... Uh, what are you up to at the moment? I am... Uh, just reading the latest J.P. Choi. Do you know her? Um... Do you know her? <laughs> By any chance? Are you kidding? I love her books. 
Hell yeah, we got it. We nailed it. We totally nailed it. We got it. So what are your plans for the weekend? Ooh, uh, well, his friend is going to Copa Bash, so I'm not going there. I was thinking of heading out to do some rock climbing, um, you know, just rock climbing, just some casual rock climbing. Or we're about to run out on our timer, by the way. Yeah, we're disconnected. That's fine. Ooh, I climb all the time. I can give you some pointers if you like. Well, 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 what? How does that conversation end? Oh, you know, I guess we got... We got a date scheduled, though. We got a date scheduled. Hell yeah, we got in. We're in. Everybody, we totally did it. We absolutely nailed it. 100%. Got him. Got him. <laughs> oh, I love using illegally acquired information to... to get cute guys in bed. <clears throat> Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Thank you. The intensity of these museum robberies has actually increased. Fortunately, we put some pressure on the State Department of Office of Authentications. Now, they're legally obliged to give us access to academic records. There are no rules in love and war. That's true. That's true, Moose. Lucky us. We need to collect the rest of these artifacts before they disappear completely, okay, gang? Oh, and we've been told to consider this as a major favor to Void, so you know it's important. Void? Volatile Objects and Instance Department? Never heard of them. Pretty much no one has. Uh, they like it that way. Okay, I got you. Moose? It's a moose. It's a real live moose. Well, you know, I, I, I can't... I can't say with authority... But it is, um, probably not a moose. <laughs> Log me in. Let's go. Yeah! Where's my, where's my, uh, sunglasses? <laughs> we got new evidence. Academic record. Program name Deadhead. Academic transcripts from high school and up. Providing an oversight of scholastic achievement. From educational institution compliance. Okay. Nice. So we got a little bit of a uh, search we can do. Operation Dustless Shelf Phase 2. Track down experts who may be involved in antique robbery spree. More antiquities have disappeared, so the Ring of Thieves is still at large. The latest robberies targeted a very obscure pieces, the true value of which can only an expert would know. Search for suspects with relevant advanced qualifications who are connected to the black market and antiquity traders. Hmm. Okay. Let's look for smart people. Playing on the moose antlers? <laughs> how, about, how about some cheese antlers? Um, you know what? Guess what? Boom. There we go. Don't, don't bat me while I'm down. So, Frexo, you put me here. You put you you did this to me. You you put you put me here. Hang on. Just uh just crouch down a little bit. Okay, let it rip. <laughs> the deer dusty. I you didn't even get a good look at it this time. We had like a gratuitous butt shot earlier in the earlier in the stream. Oh my gosh. So we're looking for master's degree in museum studies, master's in archaeology, or master's in curatorial studies. Hmm. Okay. Welcome in Sofrexo. <laughs> Hope you're having a lovely night. Looking like a whole buffet. Yeah, like I'm I'm not baby, I'm not just a snack. I'm the whole buffet. <laughs> Let's see, connection with R. Bean, H. Jones, P. Marquez, and J. Agrabat. Suspect is searching for people interested in Egyptian relics. Charcuterie with all that cheese and meat. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Stradorn. Love the cheese. We got some people up here in, like, freaking Alaska. What are you doing up here? I can't even see this person. Ellen Jones? You're a graduate making zero dollars. Love it. Uh, let's see. Bachelor of the Arts. Major in curatorial science or studies. Did not do very well. You got a 1.7 GPA, but I mean... I guess that's good enough to maybe work on the black market. <gasps> oh, the cheeses and the boops. I love it. Multi, multi redeems. So we want... Master's degree. Wait, wait. This is a bachelor's. Yeah, we don't want we don't want bachelors. Subject is searching for people with Egyptian relics. 
No, I think we're okay. You just have a bachelor's degree. That's not good enough. You didn't do very good in school. C minuses get degree minuses. <laughs> do they? Do they though? Because I'm pretty sure they just get degrees. <laughs> Car wash attendant in Anchorage. Your last email reminded me to ask you, have you seen the Egyptian exhibition downtown? Never seen pre-dynastic amulets so well preserved. This place is searching for people interested in Egyptian relics. Hmm. Maybe. You have a master's in archaeology. Also dragon cheese, hello. Cheese. Uh, also a 2.4. Not amazing, but, you know, whatever. You got a master's. Um, master's in archaeology. Have you been in connection with any of these people? Arbeen. Uh, guess what? You're busted, bud. Archaeology. Yeah, you're getting flagged. Can I alert? Can I do something higher than an alert? No. Okay, cool. <laughs> Investigate by Leco Police. Covered some carvings. Hmm. All right, let's start moving through the, uh, through the south. Chip just made a rainbow cheese wheel just for you? Is that a, is that a thing? A rainbow cheese wheel? What exist? All right, so you've got a master's in archaeology. Do you have connections with any of these people? E. Martinez. E. Marquis. No? Okay, good. Oh, wait, wait. P. Marquess. With an S. So, still no. Nope, you're just a normal person with a 2.2 in a uh, Masters of Archaeology. Yeah, you're fine. You passed the you pass the vibe check. And in seminar fell asleep. <laughs> How about uh Michael Vizier? You got a Masters in Custodial Studies. I don't know what Custodial Studies is. Anybody know what Custodial Studies is? <laughs> Everybody got graduated with a 2.0, though. <laughs> got some Etruscan tidbits looking for buyers. Also have a new Egyptian pieces that may interest your clients. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, but you don't have custodial study. I have no idea what that could be. Got a picture with a recipe for a rainbow grilled cheese. Oh, I've, I think I've seen that picture, like, maybe once a long time ago. <laughs> I forgot what it looks like, though. It's, like, all gooey and stuff, right? Well, I need, like, a rainbow grilled cheese sandwich. Absolutely. No evidence from him. Okay. How about Patricia Dent? Or Patrick Dent, sorry. Got a Masters in Curatorial Studies. Whoops, I need that. Jay Agrabat. Hey, there we go. Jay Agrabat, Masters of Curatorial Studies. Whoops, down here. Gabonese pieces won't be a problem. Do you have the fang masks? Of course, 19th century Gil magic. Be there at 10. All right, that's good enough to put him on alert. Found some ancient bronze Korean dearth. Love it. I'm out here throwing cheese. <laughs> Uh, you have a Master's in Museum Science. Well, we don't want Museum Science, we want Museum Studies. Well, that's not right. That's the archaeologist Jones, Croft, or Drake Jones, but only in Crystal Skull. You're dead to me. Ah! <laughs> Love it. You're safe. <laughs> Jeff, I just went to the kitchen to get some water. A cute deer in a skirt. Thigh highs running out of water for me, so I took it and I thought to myself, I wonder what Drip looks like that off stream. Um, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking I wish. I don't own any high. I don't own any thigh highs. Yet. <laughs> Masters in anthropology and bachelors in archaeology. Okay. Romans weren't great. Punk ass phonies stole everything anyway. Zeus to Jupiter. Give me a break. Weird opinions, but you're not suspicious. <laughs> we got three people, and I think I might have overanalyzed one of them. But let's find out, shall we? Dude, plug in your phone up here. I did incorrectly mark one piece of evidence. That was probably him looking, yeah, the email about the Egyptian exhibit, right? Tell you this, Femboy, deer water is good. Good, I'm glad you're enjoying it. it it's, it's important to stay hydrated. It's important to stay hydrated and stay thirsty, people. <laughs> Finish my review. We're we're at a we're a pretty high compliance as it is. 
Okay, like one error like every several weeks. Seriously, who are Void? You're not really a conspiracy person, are you? Uh, not really, but on the other hand, look at where we work. Words to live by, exactly. <laughs> Good to see you're coming around. Void are basically DARPA, MIB, and all the rest rolled into one. Or so the stories go. Any weird, paranormal, unexplainable event? They're on the scene. Is there any proof of this? Well, they wouldn't be much of a clandestine organization if there was. That's what I thought. <laughs> it would look like a juicy watermelon. You know what? Probably. Golden Drip look like in a skirt and thigh highs. You know what? I That art should maybe exist at some point. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Oh, we got a new text from Elise. Hey, do you remember where mom keeps the baking soda? By the larder next to the flour. <laughs> no luck. Any other ideas? I don't freaking know. It should be on the top shelf behind the gelatin. <laughs> well, how, how should I know this? Nope. Okay. Um, you know that big yellow bowl on the counter? It's in the cupboard under that? Maybe? Possibly. Got it. Thanks. <laughs> like three different locations this stuff can be. Thanks. Look at this weird rug over here, by the way. Kind of kind of tacky. Alright, let's do a little bit of uh, after work snooping. We're going to get this speedy. Do you need a picture of you? You need a picture of you in a skirt and thigh highs with some heels. Heels? I got hooves, my dude. They're not going to fit. Uh, GPA below 3 if we have a history of political rebellion. GPA below 3 if in contact with G. Richard. Or GPA below 3 if in contact with P. Allenson. Okay, so P. Allenson and G. Richard. Let's see what we can find. We'll make them fit. <laughs> yeah, major in property law. Doctor of laws. Uh, let's see... Allenson and Richard. Neither one of them. But you do want political rebellion. No. No, you're safe. You're good. I forget the makeup. Look, I don't I don't need makeup. I'm already fabulous. <laughs> Reinhard Stahl. Doctor of the Arts, below 3.5. Internet copyright infringement, driving under the influence, and mail theft. No political rebellion, though. Hmm. Yeah, you're fine. God, we're not finding, like, any good uh, bits of information from this round, are we? Sarah Jones, you better have something. Makeup was just an enhanced to the fabulousness. You know what? That's true. That's fair. <laughs> uh, you are below 3.5. Marijuana position of fireworks without a permit. Unlawful pro public protest. There you go. Wait, that doesn't count as a political rebellion? Ah, frick. <laughs> Yo, Kato! What does that say? It's been seven months. <gasps> I can finally reveal that I'm a high-level AI that has used data mining to find all your hidden cheese and transfer it into my cheese account. The deep cover was a success. I knew it. Fucking knew it all along. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the resub, Kato. Even if you are an AI, I, I, I appreciate you taking your AI time here. <laughs> oh my goodness. You have heckin' bean. How you doing tonight? You having a good one? How did how did uh, Domekeeper go today? I, I saw that one heartbreak of a run that you had earlier. Well, it's just AI cheese, right? We're looking for G. Richard and P. Allenson. We're not, we're not finding any of these. We didn't find a single person with anything suspicious tonight. There was nothing. That's a bummer. Wow. All right, well, I guess we're done for today. <laughs> Can't take all the cheese, some of the special cheese? Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. Also, Charlie Douglas. Is this my, like, uncle? Is this Drip? No, this is somebody I don't know. Uh, yeah, who is this? I can understand your concern, given your line of work. I'm Charlie Douglas, the CEO of Republica? Yeah, that's the one. 
I'm calling to thank you for your work during your investigation of my rival, uh, Matthew Pohl. Oh, um, no thanks necessary. I'd like to meet. Is Wednesday all right with you? Of course, I mean, that's fine. Great, I'll send someone to pick you up. See you then. Uh, am I going on a date with the CEO of Republica? <laughs> God, I hope so. <laughs> send somebody to pick me up. I'll send someone to pick you up. That person is me. Oh! Okay, team, this is the situation. A shooter has opened fire on civilians in downtown Cincinnati and fled the scene in a vehicle. We have reason to believe that they are still in the area, and the city has blocked off a series of roads around the crime scene. Before officers must approach random cars, you need to narrow down potential suspects for any information that we've gathered so far. Due to short notice, evidence on the gridlock drivers is arriving in waves. Make your assessments based on the data at hand. There is short time here, so get moving, gang. Okay, well, like, a second ago we were looking for, like, Egyptian relics and uh, un black market sellers. Now we got an active shooter situation in Cincinnati. <laughs> Holy crap. Yo, we can get it in a SWAT raid! Holy crap, it's getting real. Operation, or code pro program named Brute Force. Orders tactical police unit to subdue suspect or raid premises. Authorizes necessary force. Ooh, we need four pips of suspicion to authorize a SWAT raid. Okay. Our mission, find the shooter. Rush hour, find the shooter. Violet alert. Holy crap. A shooter has opened fire on civilians downtown, fled the scene of the vehicle. We have reason to believe they're still in the area. The city has blocked off a series of roads around the crime scene. Before officers approach, you need to narrow down suspects using information we've gathered so far. This is a new type of mission. Evidence waves. Identifying a shooter is a process of elimination. Evidence will appear in waves as Codex retrieves it. Find the shooter. The first wave of evidence will start. For each suspect, find any matching evidence. If there is any matching evidence, use the match. If not, use no match. You can process all suspects in the wave. The next wave will appear. Suspect will know further evidence will be eliminated. Process the next wave until you've narrowed down the list of suspects. When you reach a final wave of evidence, find enough remaining evidence to call in a SWAT raid on the shooter. Let's go. This has got to get real. So we're all in Cincinnati here. Viera Kritz. What am I supposed to look for? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Received a call between nine... God, this is a lot of stuff here. Oops. Hope none of the drivers. They're monitoring is me. Well, you know what, Moose? Are you a driver in Cincinnati right now in a gridlock near an active shooter situation? Because if so, it might be you. Sorry to say. I'm gonna have to take you down. <laughs> Retrieve call between 9.12 and 9.18. Not currently driving, but... Don't get on the road! <laughs> Not now's not the time, Moose. <laughs> Violent preferences or signs of anger. History of violence, firearm purchases, financial difficulty. So right now we're looking for 912 to 918 phone calls. Phone calls. Ah, frick. That's the timing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the time. 916. Found him. So, boom, got you. That's one. So you get a match. Roxas! What's up, Roxas? Welcome in! We're looking for an active shooter in Cincinnati. What are you up to? <laughs> uh, so it looks like this first wave is only going to have phone calls. You received a call at 912 inclusive. Boom, we got you. Okay. We're moving fast. This shooter's not getting away. Francesca Mukta. You received a call at 912. And at 918. Received call. Well, I mean, do I flag both? It doesn't say what day it's on, just literally any day. Checking out the flooded road? Yo, that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> flooded roads are kind of like fun to look at. Not fun to drive in, let me tell you that much. But they are kind of weird, weird and fun to kind of hang around. 912 p.m. That's 918 a.m., so I just want this one. Wait, it's supposed to be AM. I, I was doing this wrong. Can I go back? 
Can I re search some of these people? I think I might have messed up. Well, let, let's continue and see what happens. But I'm supposed to be looking at 9 a.m. I got confused by that. All right, Christian Stahl, did you receive a call around 9 a.m.? You did, 9.14? 9.14, received call. Boom, gotcha. Megan will flood in my house these weeks? No, I hope it, that doesn't happen, hell. Keep that water outside. Okay, outgoing call. Uh, you received a call at six. You're fine, you're no match. You're fine. We can eliminate at least one suspect. You received a call at 7 p.m. and sent a call out at 9.20. You're safe, you're fine. We're only looking for calls, not texts. Maria, we're moving through these guys fast. Incoming call around 9 a.m. Got you. Gotcha. Maximilo. Did you receive a 9 a.m.? You did. 9.18. Gotcha. My friends already got floods so hard to predict. Oh, jeez. I, I, I wish you good luck, Roxas. That's, uh, that's scary stuff. I like watching big rainstorms from, like, a safe distance. Oh, I don't want them coming into the house, though. This person gets flagged. Tor Torsten Koch. Hmm. You didn't receive any phone calls. You're fine. <laughs> Thank you for the cheese, though. For the safety cheese. This this cheese does double as a flotation device. You received a call at 9.15 a.m. That's good enough for me. This first round is probably the easy round. Uh, let's see, 9 a.m., 9.15. It'll lurk now. Be safe, be safe there, Roxas. Thank you for the lurk. Mick Griffin, God, there's a lot of suspects. Uh, 8 a.m., no, that's no good. Get him out of the suspect pool. Philip Smith, all right, last one. I need to ask you a serious question. I can, I, I can't guarantee a serious answer, but I might. <laughs> Here you go, 9.13 a.m. That's enough to match you. Next wave. Let's go. Is that everyone? Oh, no, uh, wave two. This is wave two now? Here we go. A good bat. Well, we'll see. <laughs> We're looking for violent preferences or signs of anger. Well, classic, synthetic chill mix. Wait. Montage of real deaths. That seems... I almost skipped past that one. That is obviously very problematic. You're getting matched. Good God. Uh, Harold Lutz. Played to Polar Bears, Peaceful Path, Nutella homepage. You're safe. You're good. Get him out of the pool. The Nutella homepage. <laughs> Addy Arbuckle for me. I know what you're thinking. He was acquitted. If there was a movie about your life. Who would you play? Or who would play you? I know what you're thinking, but he was acquitted. Addy Arbuckle. Who's Fatty Arbuckle? Is that a violent person? Has prejudices that are normal, spends too much time at bars, has few friends, keeps money buried in the yard. Anybody who Fatty Arbuckle is? Is this someone I should know? Hold on, let me, let me Google this real quick, make sure I'm not missing a cultural reference that I should be getting. Eddie R. Buckle. He's an American silent film actor. Um, okay. Pretty sure she's fine. <laughs> Christian Stahl. Really the perfect steak, waterproofing your shed, pet yak, video review... Yeah, this looks okay. Am I missing something? Just for violence or signs of anger. Well, you're fine. You, you get a pass, bud. We're narrowing this down, like, alarmingly fast. Maria. NFL tipping homepage, King of the Hill. Rare and exciting tea sale. No. No, you're fine. No match. We're, we're like, really narrowing it down now. 
Eximio. Job search, work placement, coping mechanisms, rage management. You're getting flagged, bud. Who else we got? Alexandra. Uh, not how long, but how well you have lived is the main thing. That dude had it coming. Too bad I scuffed my knuckles on his stupid face. Hmm. Interesting. That's a sign of anger. Very little is needed to make you happy in life. It's all within yourself. Wow. Little, uh, little, uh, swing between extremes there. All right. How about you, Cheng? How do I plug in my new amp? Life can fuck off right now and everyone in it. Breaking eggs, making omelets. Uh, you seem a little angry in this one. Signs of anger. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to get matched. Sorry, bud. Hmm. Danny Taylor. Good years deserve pets. I do, but I, I haven't been able to program the pets in. I'll accept, I'll accept, uh, I'll accept a small bonk with a newspaper, though. We have three Balilikas. Everyone come see my band this Thursday. You're fine. No match. Are we on to the next wave? Nope. One more. Philip Smith. This is the guy! This is the guy with the small head we almost we almost matched with. What the hell? Uh, urge to kill Kermit with your own fight club. What? Did we almost match with a freaking serial killer? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Bullet dodged. <laughs> um, urge to kill. I mean, that's gotta be violent tendencies, right? Yeah, let's uh, let's match you into the next round. If if small head Magoo over here ends up being the freaking sh active shooter, I'm gonna lose it. History of violence is what we're looking for now. Really sexual, very compatible, romantic. No violence. You're good. What else we got? Uh, Masumilo. Mm -hmm. The hell is this game brought? It's it's really good. <laughs> Basically, we're searching through everybody's, uh, you know, the private internet history. Toxic, resentful, was abusive. History of violence. Well, <sighs> one of these says toxic, one of these says was abusive. Abusive could imp fly violence, but doesn't necessitate it. One can be abusive without being violent. Hmm. That's a tricky one. Was abusive. I don't know. Hmm. Let me come back to you. We're gonna come back to you, Masumilo. Make it anyway. <laughs> Extortion, harassment, aggravated assault. Alright, well that one's pretty clearly violence. Mash him. Mark it? You think I should mark it? For uh for abusive? Hmm. Okay, let's mark it and see what happens. It could be. It could be. Better to move him on to the last round and you know. Not get it. Voidering, mail theft, asset forfeiture. Eh, you're fine. Match him. <laughs> we got him. We got him. Don't worry. Philip Smith. Parking fine, speeding ticket, illegal operation of a cotton candy stand. No. Okay. Small, small head McGee is not the active shooter. Uh, we have, it's down to Masumio and Alexandra. So we are looking finally for firearm purchases or financial difficulty. Mortgage payment, processing fee. You got a gun. That's a, that's a problem. Oh, wait, wait. We looking for, we're looking for a gun and financial difficulty. Uh, well, you're, I, let's just say your net bank account is at negative $15,000. I'm pretty sure that counts as financial difficulty last time I checked. I think this guy's the guy. Let me, uh, let's check this other guy real quick. Just, to, just before we send in the SWAT team on him. Alexandra. All right, how's your bank account looking? You got 2,000 in the bank. 
You got some loans, you got some income. Uh, loan principal. Okay. Where are you getting principal from your... Oh, okay, I get it. Uh, you bought a turtle and some Candenberg rum. You did buy a rifle and an Apache handgun, but it doesn't appear that you have financial difficulties. Well, I'm glad that we flagged that guy because I'm pretty sure that's him. Uh, let's do it. Let's send in the SWAT raid on Massimiano. It's time to do it. SWAT raid. Send him. Attempt to show... Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I think we got him, though. I think we actually got him. Let's do it. Sir, get down. Sir, I'm gonna need you to get down. I'm gonna need you to get down and boogie. Hey, we got every single piece of evidence right. Look at that. So, you know what? You guys were right. The, uh... The abusive relationship thing was a flag for uh, violence, apparently. Circuit down! I'm getting down. I'm covering up my head. That's just me. This is me covering up my head? Possibly? Maybe? Didn't work. <laughs> we did get him, though. We did get him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> wow, that was quite the roller coaster. The perp's been apprehended. Well, that was intense. Ah, well said. I think we need to sit down. Uh -huh. Boy. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Nailed it. Who would have thought you could stop an active shooter situation by snooping on people's uh, dating profiles? Am I right? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, me shot him. <laughs> Peter Kuhn hyper liked me. We got a hyper like on our dating profile. Check this out. I mean, where is it? There we go. Is this you? Fluent sarcasm. If you can't laugh at yourself, I probably will. Okay. He's got a little bit of a Windows Peak thing going on, but you know what? Sure. Why not? As long as it gives me an excuse to snoop. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, send me an emoji that represents our first date. I'll send you an emoji that represents our future. Um, kind of looks cute in glasses. Yeah, I'll like you. If everybody was constantly as determined as they are when they when K carried groceries in one trip, the world would be a better place. <laughs> kind of fun. I like it. He's got a sense of humor. Matthew Craddy, I'll give you a like. I work for the government, so you know I'll. Fuck you hard. <laughs> well, Marco. Like. I still ride on the back of shopping carts when I shop. You know what? It's got a sense of whimsy. Team one, I'll give you a like. I have an AMD graphics card, so you can say I'm used to things that get hot pretty quickly. Wow. You know what? You do not look 24. Life has not been kind to you. Dude, you're 24? I don't think you're 24. That doesn't that doesn't look like the face of a 24-year-old. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to pass on that one. Puppy enthusiast and frozen yogurt connoisseur, 21-year-old Ao Stella. You know, oh oh yes. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. All done. Nice for today. Let's see who likes me back. Peter Kuhn has hyper-liked me. Nobody else likes me. Nobody else likes me. Well, you know what? I tried. I'm not, I'm not being picky out here. No, no, nobody else likes me. <laughs> Except for Peter Kuhn. You know what? Peter Kuhn likes me. Let's go stoop up Peter Kuhn. <laughs> Let's immediately look at all of his personal information and just like snoop on his personal life. Ace likes me. Thank you. <laughs> we need to get you a, a fire account so that you can hyper like me back or whatever. All right. So we're looking for mention problem with system if they have a bachelor degree at most. With a GPA of under 25. These are getting like weirdly specific. Um, evidence of a software exploit list or bank under uh, 450 if we have a bachelor's degree with at most GPA 2.5. Let's see what we can get. So, you have 
we I mean we have no information on you other than your degree, so that has to be a pass. I need your bank info and your degree info, please, and thank you. Robert Perez, what about you? Do we have any major issues? Possibly. Some of the passwords getting saved to the servers, not being hashed. We don't know why. Mentions a problem with the system. If we have a bachelor's degree at most, you do have a bachelor's degree with GPA under 3.3. There we go. Got some goodies. I like my bat brain was about to explode. What's do with these words? Ooh. We just we just flagged you. Okay, you're fine. Ryan Connell. What do you got? So many flaws in it. Can't even begin to list it. This is the worst movie I've seen. Okay, so you're not talking about a program. Balance under 450. If we have a bachelor's. Oh, check it out. Uh, bank balance. Boom. Oh, we can sell that. We can sell that for sure. Who else we got? Over here, we got Karen Muller. Jesus Christ, you need to come out and tell Leah because she needs to hear it. The code is outright trash. It's jeopardizing the security framework. You have a master's in computer science, so that's too well qualified. I don't know what GPA is, but I know what a GPS is. <laughs> GPA is a grade point average. It just kind of like measures your performance in academia. Okay, let's go look up our, uh, let's look up our friend. Oh, wait, first we got to sell these. Uh, let's sell to Resistance and Snow Owl because they're getting a little bit low on their reputation right now. There you go. You guys enjoy. Uh, now let's look up uh, our good friend Peter. Let's see what he's, see what he's about. Uh, Ghostbusters incredible, but I can't understand how anyone would like the sequel. Oh, hold on, wants to talk with us. Uh, you know what? Hold, hold, we'll chat. Uh, hey there. Let's see. Let, let's, let's snoop while we're chatting with him, shall we? Press what people will eat hamburgers. Meanwhile, I'm eating my quinoa and arugula salad, trying to keep a straight face. No pain, no gain. Gym life. I uh, saw protesters on my way to work. Newsflash, who cares? Hmm. Hey there. Nice opener. What do you mean? We also got a Bachelor of the Arts in Liberal Arts. Hmm. Mind. Okay, he's kind of a kind of an a-hole, but you know, it's fine. Tell me about yourself. Okay. Well, he likes gyms. I guess. Wow, he's really he's a real piece of crap, isn't he? <laughs> Let's just mess with him, shall we? Let's lead him on a little bit. I'm a huge carnivore. Nope. Uh can't stand fish. I'm a keen shouter. Nope. Uh, I'm not a political person. But I'm very health conscious. How about that? Liberal arts? What does that mean? I I don't entirely know, actually. <laughs> wow, you sound just like me. So what's your major? Okay, so he's a major in liberal arts. Uh, had a great time. Liberal arts hated every second. Um, does he like his uh, liberal arts degree? Protesters. Exceptional brewing coffee. Washes hands. Bruce Walker tells jokes. So I can tell him that we have the same degree or that I hated it or I loved it. He got his degree with a 1.7. So that implies he was not having a great time with it. I hate it every second. Yes. Thank you, it sucked. Hell yeah, we got it. We nailed it. We're killing it right now. Are you doing much right now? Hmm. Just hanging out watching Ghostbusters movies, loving them as always. Now he... Ghostbusters are but I can't understand how anyone like the sequel. Uh, working on some squats, trying to get my reps up, or reading an expose on the glazing industry. Ugh. Uh, let's see, do we go with Ghostbusters, or we go with squats? No pain, no gain, gym life, or Ghostbusters Incredible? I can't understand how anyone like the sequel. The sequel. Well, this says movies. Them, pluralized. That implies the sequels are in there. I'm going to go with gym. Working on squats. <laughs> Babe, I'm working on squats. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Michi? Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, thank you. Love that attitude. Love that attitude. Anyway. We definitely have to hang out ASAP. Call me. I'm not going to call him. Guess what, guys? Guys, I'm not going to call him. Because he's kind of an a-hole. <laughs> but I will take the, the boost in my, in my rating. I'm now rated an 8 warming up. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm getting a little bit sexier. You'll love to see it. Hmm, I finally get to meet with Charlie Douglas. So, I finally meet with the renowned Drip Deer. Leave him on red. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Great work on the Cincinnati thing today, by the way. 
I'm sorry, but how is it you know so much about me? Well, Matthew was investigating me, so I thought I'd return the favor. I was mega impressed with the work you did, so I wanted to know more. I asked Seb, and uh, here we are. Oh, okay, that makes sense. How was the trip over, by the way? It's great, actually. I've never been in one of those fancy new helicopters. They're cool, aren't they? I'll have to uh, take you up myself sometime and give you a fly. It's a blast! But uh, I'll get to the point. I'm building a new data branch, and I need talented people. I saw what you did with Matt Corp, and I was seriously impressed. I like your ability. I like your integrity. We're celebrating? Are we, are we, we're celebrating my new job offer at Republica? Hell yeah. In short, I want you on board. You... you want to hire me? Yes, absolutely. Are you shocked? Uh, more than a little, yeah. Well, don't be. They're underpaying you there. Wait, what about the DOL? What about it? DOL is a creepy lumbering fossil from another era. It's outdated and irrelevant. On top of that, let's be honest, it's totally unethical. Ah, uh, you kind of have a point. Exactly, you're wasted over there. The DOL is going to erode you as a person, chew you up, and spit you out. So why not join something that's going to make a real difference? Also, I need people who know what they're doing, because with this sector between you and me, I don't. What do you say? I really appreciate it, but I can't. Sorry to hear that. You sure? I feel like I can do a lot of good at the DOL. I admire your integrity, Trip. I'll be in touch. I got I got guys, I gotta stay with the DOL. If I leave the DOL, I'm pretty sure they're gonna give me a game over. <laughs> Plus, I can continue snooping on him. So I can mess with him. <laughs> well, Drip. Brian, my boy. I was in the vicinity, Brian, and I must say I've grown fond of that panicked face. I have to congratulate you and your team. Oh, well, uh, yeah. well, what for, Alexandria? Partnering with the department was a masterful decision, if I do say so myself. My competition, including Matt Corp, has fallen away. What a development. Simply divine. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Your request for more data is approved, dear boy. With my love. Farewell for now. That woman knows how to make an appearance. Why does Brian look like a peanut? Because he is a peanut. You know what? Uh, secret? I'm going to tell you secret, Kato. He is a peanut. <laughs> Morning, gang. Uh, thanks to all of your terrific work, we've recovered every stolen artifact except for one. Did you custom make your character? Um, it is customized. It's a, it's a base that has been customized. It's uh, customized by none other than our dearest Burnout and Snext Asian. The Sumerian Tablet of Destinies is over 5,000 years old, and some very powerful people are on our backs about it. Just uh, quietly, Void said it's a top priority. We have one lead as to its whereabouts, so follow the trail until you can pinpoint its current location. Luckily, Demagog has given us access to their package tracking app. That should make the process a pinch. Curly hair looking. Wait, what? <laughs> Ace was talking about your model in game. Oh, the model in game. Um, Not really, no. <laughs> I think they had like three customization options. It was like, you know, skin color, hair color, and shirt color or something like that. It, there was not a lot of customization, unfortunately. But he cleans up okay. You should have seen him in episode one. Holy crap. New evidence access package tracking program name gift wrap. Monitoring the contents of movements of packages covering commercial and private transportation. Mail service compliance and GPS tracking. Yo! It's... Whoa! Thank you for the biddies! <laughs> Neko Panda! Thank you, thank you! I appreciate it. I have like six tries at prestige mode. My luck sucks. Oh god, that's awful. Kato, are you doing like are you doing like a full run every time, or are you kind of just dropping out whenever you get a bad seed? Let's see, do we get a new thing? Oh, ooh, new power. Black sheep suspicion one pip required to retrieve. Orders a Department of Liberty agent to travel to the suspect location to retrieve a specific item. Program name Extendo. Oh. Love it. All right, let's get started. Let's find the Tablet of Destinies. 
Very fancy. Mm, thanks to all of your sterling work, we've recovered every single stolen artifact except for one. The Sumerian Tablet of Destinies is over 5,000 years old. Some very powerful people are demanding its return. Void of insistence is top priority. We have one lead to its whereabouts. File the trail until the pinpoint its location. I think for about half an hour by the time I get to the first gadget or third underground zone, I don't know if it's dragging or not. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You know, sometimes you can get really lucky about, you know, 20 minutes in. But if you're not getting a break by then, just back out. You know, no need to spend three hours on damn mission. Okay. So we're using the Assay tool if we have a package endpoint that mentions Sumeria. Package endpoint that has a major in a Mesopotamian history. Or package endpoint if it mentions Cuneiform. Or any purchase over 20 million. All right. I got it. Let's do it. Let's start. I don't know how you found two cobalt next to each other. They were very far apart. Uh, they just happened to be in an area where I could get the tree to grow into both of them. All right. God, look at this man's face. <laughs> I don't trust this man's face at all. <laughs> uh, let's see. We're going to Riverside, to Entworth Labs, to Nawantan Shipping Company. This thing is weird. What do you mean? It's got a bizarre energy to it. Whenever I get close to it, I'm going to a black hole. Stop reading fantasy. Who knows what those Sumerians were up to? Hang on. Mentions Sumeria. Uh, let's go ahead and assay your endpoint. Got anything new? New group of suspects found. Okay. Uh, here we go. We got Chrissy Fitzgerald. We got a pine bench, a superior sugar supplement, a fly swatter, a novelty apron. Yeah, none of this seems relevant. Get hello. No power required. Okay. Sure, weird. Uh, Stefana Hana. Let's see. Cuneiform. Let's go ahead and say the Sevilla Fine Arts Emporium. So that's, re that's relevant right there. Okay, give me some new suspects. We're down up in Washington. The Kurt. We need to move the Tablet of Destinies as quickly as possible. Not merely to evade detection, as you say. Just being in his presence creates an incredible crushing feeling. And after carefully reading of the cuneiform, the sensation has intensified. Call back the last bidder immediately. Well, this seems like we found him, right? Or, or we found somebody who was moving it, at least. How about, uh, how about you? Johannes Koch. Uh, auction went splendidly. New Babylonian, Assyrian, and Akkadian, and Hedi pieces. Triumph! Okay! Oops, I don't want that. The Assay tool at Valley Crescent. We're going down this rabbit hole. Whoa, what? Really? Babylonian? Oh, Sumerian! We're looking for Sumerian! What about you? In PA? Doctor of the Arts in Mesopotamian History. Let's uh, figure out where that package was going. Vandeval Drive. Did we find its endpoint? Hold on. Gare Buckley. Do you have a mil two $20 million purchase? Yo, that's it. Purchase from Rajam Antiquities, $20 million. Got you. Uh, let's see. Carter's Journal Original Versions. Holy crap. Uh, a cool 400,000. Algerian goat's wool slippers and some Valium. Just a little bit of Valium to get you through the day. Uh, aware this is a highly irregular, but I must insist on returning this item. Since acquiring it, I have noticed a drastic and precipitous decline in my mental and physical constitution. A dread has crept across me. I'm a scientific person, but I must confess that I come to believe it's something... With this tablet resides in ancient power, something dark and terrible. Is this like a reference to freaking uh, amnesia, by the way? She's trying to return it. Let's see if we can retrieve it from her. Destiny of Ta Tablet of Destinies was retrieved. Hell yeah, look at that. And this guy, this guy's nothing, right? Stock purchase, $2 million. 
Yeah, you're fine. Oh, wait, over here maybe? Yeah, you're fine. Hey buddy, happy birthday. Guess what I picked you up? Those two mementos, your favorite. Rover Cleveland mustache and a Rutherford B. Hayes t-shirt. Uh, yes. Ignore you. Okay. Normal antique collecting. We found them. Found the Tablet of Destinies. Don't think we want to touch it, though. It seems like it's very cursed. You'll love to see it. Those weirdo millionaires and their Tablets of Destiny. So let me get this straight. Void now have this Tablet of Destinies. Are you going to tell me I'm crazy for believing conspiracy theories? Never said you were crazy, just wrong. Keep laughing, dear. There are some weird things going on in this department. You wait and see. Now that we can agree on. <laughs> Finding ancient Sumerian tablets. No big deal. Mm, we got another hyper-like. Hello, see my dates. I'll treat you the way Kanye treats Kanye. Wow. <laughs> He's got like a little bit of a little bit of a mullet and a receding hairline, but you know what? He did hyper like me. Let's let's at least see where this goes. This is the beginning of the sentence you just finished reading. Yeah, you know what? Cute. You got a sense of humor. I'll give you a little heart. I like long walks on the beach, and that's it. Mmm, you don't look 24. Long walks on the beach and that's it. I'm going to need a little bit more than that. Gets drunk and takes pictures a lot. I don't know. That seems a little bit irresponsible. I'm going to pass on that one. Sometimes life hands you lemony lemons and they're worth two in the bush. I like puppies. Big oof. Oof size. Large. Look at this man. <laughs> Pass. I don't message first. Well, neither do I. <laughs> if your dog is cute, I'll probably look through your photos twice. Mm -hmm. You know what? Yes. <laughs> Goofy size, large. We got one like back from uh, Johannes Richter. Okay. Let's see, let's see where Johannes Richter goes. Let's see if we have any, uh, any spark here. We need to make, uh, Dennis a little bit happier, though. All right, we're looking for any attachments. If suspect mentions an animal, czar code words are animals. Okay. Or any attachments if their package was processed by Avil Tech before 3.18 p.m. Let's check him out. Wouldn't bother with marble. Kitchen looks good. Summer catalog. Thing is 100% silent. Post gray scan copters are deafening. It's a ghost at night. You did have Avil processing before. It says before 3.18 uh, 3 p.m. This was at 3.18. Let me try grabbing it. No, they don't want it. Okay, cool. Yeah, fine. You get a pass. I thought your ears are bigger than your antlers in the in the art. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Apricot, am I doing it right? You, you're doing it bad. You're doing a bad job. Advil processing at 313? Why does this not count? It's before 3... Oh, but it has to have a... Oh, select a... Attachments? Oh, I got it. I got it now. Okay, we had to look at the attachment, not the thing. Cool. All right, get you out of here. Mm, who else we got? Lorian Mayer. Tell you one thing, I'm not going back to Cancun for a year. Great place. Don't run into my neighbors. Uh, how was your weekend? Great. Ended up with the kids at Lion... Ended up showing the kids Lion King. What do they think actually record their reaction? Hmm. Well, you did mention an animal. Let me flag it. Hey, it worked. Look at that. Uh, not in the right time for that package, though. Let's see how many more. We only have like one more uh, 
midstream grab that we can do before time. Okay, good. This is the thing that's going to revolutionize the battlefield. M Fortress dot doc. We don't even need to be there anymore. Can grab it? No. Okay. Nah, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, so let's sell this to Dennis. And we'll sell the other one to our resistance friend. And we don't need this other one, I guess. So get rid of that. Let's see. Let's talk to our uh, Johannes Richter. See what he has going on. He's got a master's in architecture, major in city planning. Oh, hello. We're going we're gonna to have a little chat with you. Uh, he's got some package tracking. Hey. <laughs> Hit him with the, hey. Personal network with B. Rodeman, male 31 soldier. Hmm, okay. Uh, I guess we matched. What are you into? Okay, hang on. I There's got to be something. DC Comics, Marvel can suck a dick. I'm kind of an architecture buff. Well, he did get a 3.9 in architecture and city planning. Let's go with that. Let's see if we uh let's see if we hit something. Hmm? It's not boring. I love it. I was an actually an architecture major. You don't say. <laughs> Do you read much? Sometimes, but only rarely, definitely, but only nonfiction. What did you get? You got medicine, radiology. How do you go from radiology into city planning? Weird. So he goes to Tweedle Book Cafe. I'm going to sound like an uber geek, but I'm seriously partial to imaginary worlds, dragons, magic, that kind of thing. Oh, sometimes, but only rarely. Definitely, but only nonfiction. How do we know? How do we know what he's into? Processing station, book cafe. Oh, fantasy novella. He ordered a fantasy novella. So in that case, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say fantasy imaginary stuff. I just saw this line down here. <laughs> and I guess we're both nerds. I'm a huge fantasy nerd, or a huge fantasy fan. Do you get to bookstores much? Uh, I went to Tweedle Book Cafe. For sure, I love the vibe. Do you know Tweedle Book Cafe? Yeah, I tend to shop around the Newark area. Never. I have to look through the shelves. Um, how about Tweedle Book Cafe? I can't help but notice that you ordered something from there recently. Do I? It's the best in the city. Oh, we're hitting every damn... We're hitting every damn beat with this guy. Well, it's late. But we need to meet up. How about coffee at Tweedle? Hmm. You know what? I like his personality. I wasn't... Initially, I wasn't impressed with the mullet and the receding hairline, but I kind of like his personality. I think we'll have a fun uh, coffee date. So he came right out and offered you a job. Yeah, right out of the blue. Yeah, what's his office like? Kind of gimmicky, very tech billionaire-ish. <laughs> They're a certain type, that's for sure. Word of caution, though. Be careful with Charlie Douglas and anyone like him. Any particular reason? You don't make that kind of money by being completely selfless. That's all. Hmm. Regardless, I'm proud of you. Not just for sticking to your guns, but because lately you've finally been looking out for yourself and good things are coming to you. Enjoy it. I will. I will enjoy it, though. <laughs> Absolutely. June 16th, Friday. Well, it looks like we're all friends now. I wouldn't go that far. What the hell is that kid doing here? Me? <laughs> oh, taking notes for me. Uh, my memory is not uh, 110% at all times. You don't say. So, we're in agreement. Our system errors on May 10th were part of a coordinated attack. Unquestionably. And we suspect the Russian government was responsible. Absolutely, fucking lootly we do. Mr. Weiss is rather adamant on that point. To that, the DOL are joining forces with the intelligence community, temporarily, and private surveillance companies, UA, to fight back against external aggression. Now, Brian. Yes, ma'am. We need your team to investigate suspicious Russian nationals. Look for any involvement in the Grey Day attacks. Of course, ma'am. Tread carefully, though, as your findings could have major geopolitical impact. I'm getting hard just thinking about it. Charming. <laughs> Charming. I love it. 
Send me in. Let's do it. We're looking at some uh, some Russian internationals now. Strange bedfellows. Investigate Russian internationals with the United States government connections. Our system errors on May 10th were part of a coordinated attack that we suspect the government and Russia was behind. We're joining forces with the intelligence community and private surveillance companies to fight back against external oppression. Search into profiles of suspicious Russian nationals to determine any involvement in the grade A attacks. Carefully, findings could have consequences. We are going to assay V. Golovin, A. Karpov, and M. Vasily. So boops. Oh, man. I love it. A, a good boop right to the right to the throat. Uh, we're also going to deep link any package endpoints at a Russian embassy as long as the courier was paid two hours before the package arrived. Weirdly specific, but okay. Fair enough. We're also going to mention any grade A attacks. We're going to flag those as well. All right, let's get started. Let's start down here at the bottom of California. Svetlana! What's up, Svetlana? I know Omsk explosion wasn't a burst gas main. More people should know. We don't hide this for our reputation's sake. The Omsk. That's not, uh, that's not the Great Day attack, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I think you're okay. Wait, wait, V. Golovin. Golovin. Hang on a minute. Search that real quick. Oh, ho! hang on a minute. I was, just, I was just about to put her down, but I'm pretty sure there might be something here. Package endpoint is a Russian embassy. It is. And courier was paid two hours before package arrived. Uh, within two hours before package arrived. It arrived at 11 a.m., so as long as the courier was paid before 9. Or after nine, I should say. And they were. All right. I think we got them. Courier fee. Boom. Gotcha. You know what? Uh, I can't send agents on this person, but we will alert. This one, our close watch, never laughs. Hmm. Now let's go to Olga Efremovo. Mm -hmm. Efremova. <laughs> Tableware, Siberian honey. All oh, got a courier going to a Russian embassy, and they were paid like definitely not even close to the right time. You're safe. Let's see what else we got. Nikita, Nikita, God, look at her face. This is like some Mrs. Doubtfire level stuff going on right here. Uh, Russian tea rooms now. Intelligence, I'm getting quite. Is unbelievable. Might be misinformation. I think McDonald's might be bringing back the Szechuan sauce permanently. Good for you. You know what? Find find joy where you can. <laughs> God, now I want McDonald's. Okay, what do we got? Russian embassy. And when was the courier paid? 9.56 p.m. Yeah, that's not even close. And you've got no other... Uh, no other connections that tie you down, so you're getting out of here. What about up here in uh, Montana? This did not land in a Russian embassy. Did miss the Cold War? Wasn't old enough, so no. Good point. Yeah, no, you're... Uh, wait, wait, D... No, you're fine. You're fine. We're only getting, like, one person who's uh, a suspect, it seems. Maria. Well, we got a few more to go through. Here's a Russian embassy again. Not sure I like baloney, but uh, what's well, not actually unusual, really? Of course, I thought there was only one. A. Karpov, though. We can say that. Get a little bit more information. Yo, check it out. Hang on. Courier fee at 11.53 a.m. It's tight. 12, 1. But I think it's close enough. We go. Send an alert. Being watched by Weissbliss. And Vitale. Or Vitali. Uh, let's see here. You have had connections with A. Golovin. See if we can't find anything more. And M. Vastiliv. Ah, here we go. The Americans must be told of the Kenya collect connection. Seem to genuinely believe we were involved in the Great A attack incident. I strongly recommend informing them of their error. 
our own situation in Omsk before this comes to a head. We try to them to strike us as an imagined enemy when they're unaware that we too are victims of the sinister plot. Yo, hang on a minute. That's relevant information. Also, Russian Embassy uh, had a package arrive at 3.19 p.m. Courier was paid at 1.56. That's within two hours. PM, PM, yep, okay. Uh, I think we have enough to actually go after this guy. Send an agent to him. Referred to the Russian Embassy, hell yeah. Let's see how we did. Five out of five. We did mark one wrong, and we had one inappropriate decision. Hmm. So what did we mess up? Betlana was messed up. Hmm. Did I get my time wrong? Oh, I think it was an AM PM thing. Yeah, that's my bad. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. We got we got one wrong. I'm pretty sure we found the big guy though. Ray Day lead. Oh hell yeah. So Russia had nothing to do with it. Yeah, it looks that way. In fact, they seem to be victims of their own attack by the Cloud Dweller in Omsk. They just covered it up. That's what we're seeing. So, where does that leave us? Looks like we're going to have to talk to the Russians. Of course, we'll uh, need to share what we can if we want information. Uh, fair point. The suspect also said something about a Kenyan connection. Won't the DOL need an international scope to follow that lead? Interesting. Well, the power that we have, uh, have been talking about it. You may be onto something. I almost forgot. Congratulations to you both. I've been told you're ready for clearance level six. <laughs> oh, well, that's kind of unceremonious. Keep it up and you'll be sitting on my in my chair in no time. Hell yeah. Look at that, clearance level six. Ooh, it's a snack. Quid costiet ipsos costini. Who watches the Watchmen? <laughs> oh, so true. Hell yeah. That's good stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, you know what? Usually when we hit a chapter, um, a chapter end, that's usually where we, we stop for the night. I've been a little bit tired lately, so I think I might call the stream a little bit early tonight. We have been going for almost three hours. Um, but I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and um, take this back to the main menu. I think we're going to I think we're going to wrap it up for today. That was a pretty exciting, pretty exciting thing. We, we stopped an active shooter and we uh, got a great A attack lead.